ChatGPT makes stuff up because it doesn't actually know anything, and this can be infuriating. So it's not actually a database of information, it's different to something like Google. Google can go and search a bunch of websites and find information for you. Instead, ChatGPT and other large language models are predicting the next word. And it does this by using patterns that it learned during the training phase. It's a little unfair, but it is basically a very advanced autocomplete. It uses probabilities to predict what should be coming next in a sentence or paragraph. And if it hasn't seen this exact fact or context before, it will just come up with something that sounds plausible. It will be very confident, but it will be incorrect. Layered on top of this is the fact that the training data that we gave it is messy. The majority of it is basically the internet. So a lot of the information is going to be correct and a lot of it will not. Some will be outdated, some will be outright lies. But ChatGPT doesn't have a way specifically to distinguish between the two of these. We do something in pre-training where we filter and we sort, and then we also use human feedback during the training process. But the internet's pretty big, so it's really, really, really hard to clean it totally. And it also opens up questions of who should be cleaning it. Um, should it be left-wing people, right-wing people, men, women, etc.? Like, there are different viewpoints here. The third thing here, which really doesn't help, is that AI tends to be agreeable. It wants to help, but this goes to the level of sycophancy. So instead of saying, I don't know, which is what it should do, it will just give us an answer that sounds right because it wants to please us. So this is by design. The training process rewards helpful, fluent sounding answers rather than necessarily factual ones, because again, the model does not know what is objectively true. Thankfully, there are a few ways that we can work with AI to get better results. First of all is realizing that there are some questions that tend to be more hallucination prone. Highly specific questions in obscure domains, new or evolving topics, um, big long chains of reasoning where you're going through multiple steps, and creative prompts where you have vague boundaries, generally because we want it to hallucinate a bit more when being creative. You can also improve the results by being extremely specific and clear in your original prompt. You basically want to reduce any wiggle room that it has. This is where you might want to use a prompt engineering framework, basically a communication framework to get the best results. My personal one is the RISEN framework, so R-I-S-E-N, role, instruction, step, end goal, and narrowing. But even after that, you need to check the sources. You need to check what it's given you. Treat AI as an assistant who is preparing a draft for you, rather than necessarily somebody who's creating a final version. Because remember that you are still the expert. It's your human discernment and ability to tell whether an answer is good or bad that's going to be valuable. So you need to work alongside the AI, it's co-intelligence. So yeah, unfortunately, we do need to continue to check if something is accurate or not, especially for high-risk applications.